Hey guys, welcome for today's breakdown on 8th of November 2023. Took two trades. Um, it was a bit of a chicken on this first one that I'll cover what will happen. And then um, the second one, just for waiting for New York session set alerts and then just waited for a zone to be hit. So let's go over them. It was a pretty quiet day. We didn't really have a lot of stimulus in the terms of like war news. Um, we had a couple of speakers that Mark was sort of waiting for. And then New York session just really exploded, um, coming out of nowhere, <laughs> really, and where I thought came out of nowhere. What I was looking for originally was for price to be able to, this was the lay of the land. I've got a 30 minute chart. Um, go into the uh, go into the into the London open. So price had been drifting down this little corrective structure. And I wasn't sure if we're going to finally now with London London volume come in and break underneath these these um like this little double bottom and then finally be able to to fill this candle. And then I was hoping to sell down and then buy from here. So that was that was I was, I was hunting sells initially. I didn't want to flip to looking for buys. Um because I usually will miss both trades or I won't take a great trade if I've got a kind of got a mixed bias. Uh, I was fully expecting London to push up. I didn't want to take a sell into that zone. Um, so I was really looking for London to react off of off of some some of these zones. You can sort of see these little um, faint lines here that I was that I was expecting for price to react from. This this is the one that I really had my eye on. Here, the 15 minute imbalance with no top wick. So go to the 15 minute chart. And this is this is the one here. That's what I was really looking for. Above that, then we had like this little order block as well that I thought price could react from. And then we can look for those to take those cells. So we'll just go forward uh, on the five minutes. Um, so price, okay. As it came up, it was just drifting up and up and up. Normally, I expect to see reversals around this um, like 8.30 to 8.45 time if I don't get the initial breakout in the first part of the day. Um, so we'll go to the three-minute chart, okay? Because we're getting closer to where price was getting to, okay? Price came up. Oh, my bad. I already missed it. I already missed it. So around this area. Okay, so you can see the time, the timestamp down the bottom. It's getting close to the like 8.30, 8.40-ish time. Um, expecting price to react from, say, somewhere like here. I got a bearish candle, okay, this one here. And then I entered for a sell. I entered for a sell on as price started breaking this low. But I was looking at this on the five-minute chart. So this was the five-minute candle closing. And I did enter a sell as price was breaking the low to target back down towards towards this area, at least to this little gray zone. Um, and then, so this one, as it wicked up, this is where I got in for the trade. Now, where what happened where I was a bit of a chicken on this one is on the three minute, I noticed on the three minute that we had opened with no top wick here. And then that was the candle that, put, that I got into that cell for. Um, so what I, uh, and then my entry, as I have, I have like on the on the proper count that I'm using, it's three pip spread. So when as it was breaking, my entry was put in, say somewhere like here, okay, somewhere around this uh, fifteen one twenty seven. So that's all fine. But when I saw that this had no top wick, I thought, oh, price is probably going to pull all the way back up, and I've already using like a bit more, um, losing like twenty pips risk here. So I thought, well. So many off so often price will come back up and retest that. So what I decided to do on the fly was get out for plus a couple pips that was up. Um, just while as it was pushing down, thinking that I'll I'll prefer to get in and that way I can actually use it. Like obviously I won't be able to get this kind of price on on the on that account. Um, but if it can take out this imbalance and then start to reject, I can probably get back get back in for using like halving my risk and the risk reward to be substantially better. So that was that was the first trade, and that ended up being just a break even because price just never came back up. It just it just started falling from here. Okay, so that was that was the first one. So it was, would have been a nice trade to have held, but um, in all transparency, I didn't. I I was expecting this to be retested. 
Um, and I've been noticing that a bit lately that price will come up and it gives a liquidity candle. So like this one here, and then it just does the next, the retest and it just never comes back up to the zone again. Um, but anyway, that's uh, something, just a little observation. So this would have been nice. Holding those sales would have been absolutely lovely. Um, so that was that idea done. Then I gave an idea to the members afterwards saying um, on this, say on the 30 minute chart, it's the same idea that I had for yesterday that if price could break up above this 115,195 and close above here and had a little alert here, that price should easily go up to the top now and retest this New York, uh, sorry, this previous London high. So this this zone, why why this line? Because it looks like kind of in the middle of nowhere. If you look at the four hour chart, it is we uh, in yesterday we had created the rejection wick. This is a rejection wick because this candle closed lower than the than the um it broke the highs of the candles to the left, but it closed lower than the wick highs. So this is a rejection wick. Then it followed up with a beautiful, lovely rejection candle here, retesting this wick. And then, and then we had that down move. So next time, if price can come up and we can close above this open price of this candle, and we can actually close inside of this wick, then we'll usually go and do a wick fill. Okay, so that was that was the idea behind this trade. And if we go over to, let me just bring this up. So you'll see like when the idea was given, it's given on, it was this one here. So it closes above 15,195, can trade the second break up to the 15, 220, 35-ish area, aiming for London high yesterday. You can see the time. This was posted to the group um, five at 8.55, five minutes to nine this morning. Um, and this was the result. So we'll go to the five-minute chart. It looks, looks beautiful on the five-minute chart. So keep your eyes on this little zone here. Okay, so as price went, I was pushing up and then we got into New York session. So New York opened, closed above 15,195. First break, you never want to take the first break because the first break is generally pretty risky. Price will often pull back and then you look you look to try to get in for a rejection wick and then retest as high and then continuation. So that's usually the pattern. Um, so price came down, entered on this candle and just put a simple, like simple, simple, um, you can do either limit order, pie stops, whatever. Just, you just want to see, you just want to wait and see if a candle closes first, wait for a little pullback and wait to see price start pushing up again. And the rest was history, you know, just a simple little move. Price just absolutely steamrolled after that. Um, just went, just, just zoomed up. Um, but then we had a beautiful little correction off the top. So it could have held it for longer, but this was the easy move was just to do this, this wick fill over to the top. Couldn't really anticipate what it was going to reject. If it was going to reject from here um, without watching it, if you had left a runner to, to the New York high, absolutely great. Um, but that was the planned trade that I was going to take. Um, and so from here up to here, 38 pips, potentially, you know, you got pretty pretty big balls to hold that all, all the way in full position. So love, love, lovely trade for New York. And you know, just another nice day. So it wasn't a, wasn't the best performance in the London session. Sort of missed these buys, didn't hold the sells, um, and then just took the planned trade. Once we're breaking above here into this wick zone, just trade this part of this candle. So now, we'll, um, this idea is still valid for tomorrow. If this is a liquidity grab, we'll see how the today uh, closes, and then we'll just make a new plan for um, tomorrow. So, all right, guys, see you on Thursday, London Open Stream. Don't forget to give it a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.